CIG just released the Q&A for the Drake Ironclad and we're going straight into it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Marai Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's go. All right, so the very first question that was posed to CIG is what ship are the main competitors for the Ironclad and Ironclad Assault? For example, how does it compare with the Crusader Hercules? As it seems better in every aspect, and CIG responds with the Ambo Liberator and the Crusader Hercules are Ironclad's closest competitors. The Liberator is a dedicated vehicle transporter, so naturally it excels at that. Um, though its cargo remains relatively exposed, the C2 and M2 Hercules are the closest on paper competitors, providing enclosed cargo capacity and option for multiple turrets. However, the Ironclad Assaults beats the latter, while the base Ironclad beats the former in cargo capacity. Interesting. Okay, so the next question is, can the Ironclad be used as a mini carrier? What is the biggest ship that could fit through the retractable roof? So this is a key question. And the response is, it can however the cargo bay is designed for cargo metrics so it does not conform to standard eyes hangar dimensions with the current maximum dimensions being 40 by 21 by 7.5 um, bear in mind the roof does not retract over the full volume limiting the maximum length of course this may change the production Honestly, I hope it does. Um, even though they're not saying it's it's uh, it doesn't have a standardized hangar dimension, there are a few ships that you can definitely fit in there. They already conform, confirmed that we can fit the um, Pisces in there, so all the variants of the Pisces can go in there. And essentially, ships similar to um, like maybe like light fighters, I believe. Even the uh, I'm not sure if the the saber. Uh, the server series could fit in there um because uh well at least i think the the firebird might be able to fit in there because it stands i think up to five feet five meters um in terms of height but i'm not too sure about the width and length but it might i might might be able to but it can carry some ships but it doesn't seem like it can carry that many i was really hoping it would be um CIG really do need to consider um, mini carriers um, that like entry level mini carriers for people uh, because it's going to be essential, right? They, they need to consider that, you know, they should have thought of that um, when they were, they were designing this, but maybe they, all, they already, already have other ships in mind um, to do that, you know? So, um, yeah, like a, a small, uh, like a, a ship similar to this size that can carry other smaller ships, like utility based ships. Um, whether it's a mining ship or it, if it's a salvage ship, it, any other ship. As I was saying before, I was distracted. Um, yeah, I think CIG need to consider ships that can carry other smaller ships that are dedicated to carry other smaller ships that have some of the amenities that the Ironclad has, um, um, uh, like uh, the the component uh, uh, production, um, the the crafting um, um, utility that it has, also. An area to also park vehicles as well it needs to have that because it's going to be important to have a carrier with you in some of these new systems that are coming out like pyro um, just due to the size of it and due to jump range and fuel and the ability to um you feel we arm um, at these locations especially um if uh, a system like pyro is, is super dangerous you don't necessarily always want to go to an outpost or uh, an actual station, you know, so I think they need to consider this. So let's move on. So will the Ironclad Assault um, have retracted roof like the base variant uh, version? It says, uh, yes, the retracted roof is shared elements between the two versions. However, the retract, however, the tractor beam setup is removed. So utility is significantly compromised in the assault version so that's pretty cool um, a lot of people were saying that um, the assault wouldn't but uh, it's good confirmation that the assault will um, so that's that's uh, that changes things um, I guess in, in some people that are actually inquiring about that all right so 
the next question is will either version have strong veto thrusters to assist atmospheric flight and it says both have identical thruster layout including integrated veto thrusters underneath next question it says is there an armory in the assault the answer is armory isn't shown in the assault cutaway but during production we're looking for the best place for one likely in the front central area where the secure storage is on the base ironclad okay so yeah i think i think they need to have that so it's it's good that they, they've considered that um being a, a a ship of that size they they need they do need to have this uh, so the next question is um the ironclad assault has a repair bay as uh an installed feature is the bay going to be able to repair more than just vehicles for example could it repair ship components as well and they said yes that's good uh, repair facilities are not restricted by type but more of volume and resources we'll discuss repair crafting in more detail in the future as it is a topic more expansive than this q and a so that's going to be really exciting i'm going to look out for that uh, make sure to subscribe um when they come up with this because i'm going to be on it um so yeah so it looks like they, they already have an idea of uh, repair and and crafting i know crafting is because they're working on base building so i think we we need to really hear about this um before um we know anything because there might be crafting stations different versions of crafting stations um that will have different levels of uh, capability it seems like all right so uh, let's look out for that so the next question is how will the self-destruction feature work in the ironclad can i initiate the self-destruction in the command module and detach it and fly away or will the command module also be in self-destruct so it says there are two independent self-destruct systems one in the command module and one in the main hall which uh setting setting it off in the command module will self-destruct both if attached while the main hall of the base ship can be triggered from the control room interesting okay cool cool that's good to know all right so the next question is is the command module shared between the ironclad and the uh caterpillar so can you take a command module from the caterpillar and attach it to the ironclad so that's an interesting question so the next one the answer is the command module a is compatible between the ironclad and the caterpillar However, the Ironclad module is slightly redesigned of the original Caterpillar one, but um, retains a lot of the features. So, if they're meant to be compatible, then it looks like the Caterpillar may be getting a little rework then, right? If it's if the if this one has the, the one for the Ironclad has been re, redesigned a little bit, so it looks like the Caterpillar may receive a, a, a redesign in the future. It's a slight design, I guess. Uh, next question is, if you detach the command module, does the ironclad become a flying brick or can you still steer it from the ship itself? That's a good question. The ironclad is exclusively flown from the command module. With it detached, the hull can no longer fly independently. However, it retains power cooling and other functionality like tractor beam control and self-defense <laughs> that's crazy so it'll just sit there and and still be able to defend itself interesting 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 so like will there be other usage like how would you use it aside from uh, emergencies right how like what would be the other reasons why i would detach my command module if it's not an emergency you know what i mean imagine um i think one way is if you want to you don't want to take the ironclad um planet side you're somewhere uh, in orbit of a planet but you don't want to take the entire your entire cargo load into uh on the planet side being in pyro it's dangerous anybody can just fly by and destroy it right so you leave it somewhere out in space detach it it'll still run and it'll still be active and, and available but you detach your module your command module then you go planet side land do whatever you need to do come back reattach it and then you go uh so that that could be a use case uh, but uh we'll have to see we'll have to see next question is will insurance handle detaching um, of the command module 
and lose the main ship. And it says we are currently working on how insurance will work with the ironclad. We're, we'll talk more on the subject closer to the ship's flyable release. All right. Will the command module have a quantum drive? Yes, there is a quantum drive aboard the command module to facilitate independent quantum travel. Interesting. All right, so the next question is, is the ship's heavy armor um, actually heavy? How is it represented in game as an armor isn't a thing yet in mechanics? And they respond with, relative to other ships of its size class, it is heavily armored and that implementation will be appropriate to the mechanic in place at the time of launch. Interesting. Uh, next question is, is the interior turret a tractor beam or a self-defense turret? A defense turret. So it says the interior turret at the rear of the cargo bay is a defense turret. Interesting. This is literally, I think, the first ship that has an internal uh, defense turret. So that's going to be really cool. It'll be really cool when they when they use the ironclad as a set piece uh, for like similar to like the 890 jump uh, mission that we have in the PU. Um, they can use this and create different, different scenarios with it. Um, it'll be really cool. Uh, next one is, does the assault have tractor beams? They're listed for the base, but not the assault. Uh, the answer is no the assault trades all of its tractor beams for more firepower if you still wish uh, to tractor around or board the assault you should bring um, either fps tractor items or a tractor capable ship interesting now, that's a good thing right it's it's still you can still bring these things separately um, in order to enable its capability but i i understand they, they needed to uh, I understand the trade-off. It makes sense. It makes sense. All right. So next question. I think this is the last one. It says, how will the gravity in the cargo bay be handled? Will this caterpillar have an air shield over the top like the caterpillar has at the front? For example, if someone is in there at the top of the ship to help load cargo, it seems like um, a great way to fall into a ship and get a tier two leg injury sounds like a drake design feature <laughs> uh, the answer is there is no air shield at the top of the cargo bay once open events to the void of space and care must be taken in the scenario listed so yeah so once um once the engineering gameplay comes in it's going to be very important to <laughs> not vent out your your crew <laughs> You gotta be wearing a helmet once you're in there so um that's 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 a good question actually um all right so there you have it this is the q a for the ironclad you guys let me know down below are you still considering the ironclad considering all these answers that have been provided let me know in the comments down and before i let you go my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one